T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and lift off. Coach on Fire Radio. I am the Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to all my listeners, wherever you guys are in the world. Um, I am so freaking excited because today's a little bit different. Um, so a little bit about my show and myself for new listeners. Um, my name is Ashley Noel. I am your host, and I um, had a, a very unhealthy marriage, and when I left, I took my kids removed myself from the situation, and I ended up putting myself through hell with that. Um, A lot of just like desperate for affirmation, and I struggled so hard with my self-worth to the point where I became suicidal. So I decided to go back to school for psychology, learn a ton about relationships and how to develop my own personal self-worth and self-love. And that led me to working with um, victims and survivors of domestic violence, sexual assault, and human trafficking. Um, And from there, I was like, okay, how can I do this, but in my own way and with my own wording, which is what led me to becoming a life coach. So I am a relationship life coach, intimacy specialist. Um, I rap. I People call me stand-up comedian. I'm a mom. Whatever you want to call me, I'll, um, I like respond to it all. So today's talk. And the, the show now is kind of switching over from it was all about escaping sex addiction. However, I've kind of just been really empowered to, um, I feel very intuitive to speak more on self-worth and the value of that because you can't get out of addiction, you can't get out of an unhealthy relationship, you can't progress in life um, in all aspects if you don't know your own self-worth and that is what I'm here to help teach you. So today I do not have a guest speaker. Um, I will just be talking myself. We are going to be talking a lot about popular dating apps and how to use them, what they're known for. We're going to talk about how to be approachable even behind the screen. We're going to talk about um, how to juggle multiple dates and conversations because that is a science that I have mastered. Um, and we're all going to we're talk about how self-worth plays a big part in that and gaining confidence so that you're not turning into one of those like, hey, it's 2 a.m., um, <clears throat> I need a booty call. <clears throat> Sorry. So, and then at the very, very end, um, if you're listening live right now, you can be um, asking questions. At the end, I can answer them as well. Um, I'm going to turn on the chat feature for that. Um, so... And then I'm going to read my own personal poem all about Tinder and the effect it had on me um, as a sex addict. All right, so popular dating apps. So the majority of them that are being used right now are Tinder, POF, which is called Plenty of Fish, Bumble, and if you're at LDS, Mutual. <clears throat> Mutual is an LDS dating app. Um, there's also Match.com. Um, Christian singles and you know for those people like way out wherever you are farmersonly.com all right let's show some love for those people (laughs) so we're mostly going to be focusing on um, tinder Um, POF so let's talk about POF for a second it's called plenty of fish Um, and the concept behind this dating app is that You can talk to, so you can message anybody you want, and they can message you whenever they want. So the difficulty with that is um, if your profile is attracting a ton of people, your phone is going to blow up all day long. If you 
basically look a certain way, if you have a certain career, whatever it is, that's definitely going to be more attractive to these people. And that can be a lot to juggle because then people start to feel ignored and you're like, no, I'm not ignoring you. I just, I have like 50 messages to respond to and it's taking me a couple of days because, you know, I also have a life. Um, and so that, that can be really frustrating. Plus then you're just getting messages from like weirdos and creeps and you're just like, um, did you like in the nicest way possible it's like did you really think i would go out with you because no thank you um <coughs> and, <coughs> sorry um so yeah that one i try to stay away from uh just because it but you know what i like the freedom of it i do i like that you don't have to match with them so if you're confident and you're ready to go, boom, message that person that you are attracted to <clears throat> that you want to get to know um, and kind of just see if there's any of that, any connection there. So I, I do appreciate that freedom to some degree. Okay, so then there's the dating app called Bumble. Bumble um, is all about the women. So the women have to make the first move. So for those women who are the dominant and they don't like being submissive, then this app is for you because you go through all the guys' profiles and um, the guys will go through yours. And if you match, you have like 24 hours to make your first move. You have to message them first. Do the whole icebreaker thing. Um, and it's nice because you can be a little bit in charge. You can choose how to approach the situation and um and then the guys kind of just get to sit back and be like yeah let's see what she has to say can she win me over can she um attract me can she say something funny what will she say or will she not say anything you know maybe in the next 24 hours you connect with somebody else and so you start to neglect that other person and you don't message them at all and boohoo for them right so that one's kind of interesting. Um, my personal experience with Bumble was even if you message first, there's a like there's a lot of high end males on that site. There, they have very good careers. Um, they have a lot to seem going for them. They're more put together. But with that comes the fact, unfortunately, where it's like, yeah, that's right, women, you come to me. And I will talk to you if I choose so. Like, if I get a break from my sitting in my freaking throne. Okay, psych. I don't play that way. So, uh, you know, there were multiple times where I would send a message out first, which you're being very vulnerable in doing so. And you have to be confident and be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to say something first. And then they don't reply at all. And you're like, jerks. You know, so that one can be difficult. Um... And it's hard because you could feel rejected very easily after you did put yourself out there. So that one's interesting. You got to have a lot of confidence and be like, screw you guys. I don't care. On to the next one. Um, <laughs> so then there's mutual. And mutual is a LDS, so Mormon dating app. And that one is mostly for iPhones is what I'm experiencing. And for Androids, it is... It's there and it's available, but it kind of crashes. They're still working on that. So if you have an iPhone, apparently it works fabulous. If you have an Android, it crashes every now and then, um, which is like, hey, thanks for reminding me that uh, my dating life is crashing over and over again. You know. <laughs> so um, with Mutual, my experience with that one um, it's the same where you have to scroll through profiles. You know, you look at somebody's picture. It'll maybe see, say a few things like age, location, and you can gauge on all these apps. You can gauge the range of where you're looking for um, these dates. So, you know, within like a 40 mile radius, whatever. So you kind of look through them. If you swipe right or up or down, or whatever it is for that app, if you are agreeing like, yes, I like this person, and they also do the same, that's when you can have a conversation. 
However, on mutual, I have had multiple, multiple people tell me that you can match with somebody. And in order to do so, obviously it means that they were recently on in order to like your page and swipe right. You know, so so then you'll go, you're like, sweet, we match. I'm going to say hi, say whatever you're going to say. And then a couple days will go by and nothing. It's like, that's weird because you were just on within the last couple of days. So how has it been a week and you haven't, like, paid attention to the notification on your phone? Because I think Mutual even does an email. So it'll notify you, the app itself, and it'll email you. And some of these other ones will do that too. So... You know, there's no way of being like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that people were reaching out to me on a dating site where I put myself out there to get reached out to. What? The concept. It's crazy. Am I right? Okay. So if you're on a dating app, oh, and you can also gauge how ready you are for a relationship. So first of all, like um, there's a little scale and you can just move your little dot you know, to the left is like, hey, I'm looking more for friends, I suppose. And then all the way to the right is like, I'm ready for commitment and a relationship or marriage or whatever. So first of all, that shouldn't even be an option. If you're on a dating site, you should be ready for a relationship, right? Especially in the LDS community, I think that the option of, eh, maybe just, like, friends with benefits or whatever, like, shouldn't necessarily be there. That's only encouraging, like, hey, this guy's just here for whatever, here for a good time, and this guy's here for marriage, but I'm not. You know, it's just like, okay, that's annoying. If you're on a dating app, you're putting your profile out there, and you're liking other people's profiles, then why are you not reciprocating and sending out an email Um, or a message, and trying to get to know people in order to have a relationship or go on dates or whatever it is you're ready for. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. I was so over it. I I tried it out maybe two or three different times within a few months, Um, and even though I was getting responses or whatever, it was just, it was so irritating. So that's my take on that app. I don't like it. But maybe, you know, for those people who are in Utah, Idaho, Arizona, or whatever, where there's, like, a higher population, it doesn't help that I kind of live in the middle of nowhere, like, surrounded by rice fields. And so I'm just, like, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm one of those, dang, maybe I should go on FarmersOnly.com. Frick. That's, that's not very encouraging. <laughs> Boom, epiphany. We're not going to talk about it. Okay, so Tinder. Tinder, 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 Tinder. Freaking A. The thing with Tinder is you swipe right if you think they're attractive, you like their profile, whatever. You swipe left if you're like, psych, get out of here. And that's nice because it allows you to match with somebody before you can communicate. But Tinder profile, so Tinder is known for the hookup site, it, you are your, that's your booty calls, your friends with benefits, that's those people, and I swear, um, guys will say things like, okay, so it, because it's based off of where you're located, you can travel, and if you're on a vacation, and I talked about this a little bit on my last um, Facebook Live video, If you're on vacation, you can pull up your Tinder app and it'll tell you who's closest to you um, right then and there. So it's like you can be getting the booty everywhere is what I'm saying. And um, so I have seen so many profiles where men are like, hey, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time, which is kind of clever, right? But also, first of all, who would want to go on a date with a person who's putting so- their self out there, themselves out there, saying, not here for a long time, I'm here for a good time. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in a guy who's going to, you know, just put it out there everywhere he goes, like, regardless. 
and no, I'm a heart.